Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we uncover a lost river that once sustained life in the Thar Desert. Evidence of a lost river that ran through the Thar Desert in India has been found. The river flowed through the desert 172,000 years ago, near present-day Bikana. Researchers say that the river may have been a lifeline to the human population inhabiting the region. The study was carried out by researchers from Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Germany, along with Anna University in Tamil Nadu and IICER Kolkata. The study indicates that Stone Age populations lived in the Thar Desert landscape that was distinctly different than today. The findings, published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, represent the oldest directly dated phase of river activity at Nal Quarry in the central Thar Desert. The evidence indicates a river flowed with phases of activity dating to approximately up to 172,000 years ago, nearby to Bikaner, Rajasthan, which is over 200 kilometers away from the nearest modern river. These findings predate evidence for activity in modern river courses across the Thar Desert, as well as dried up courses of the Gagahakra River, the researchers said. The presence of a river running through the central Thar Desert would have offered a lifeline to Paleolithic populations and potentially an important corridor for migrations, they said. The researchers noted that the potential importance of lost rivers for earlier inhabitants of the Thar Desert have been overlooked. The Thar Desert has a rich prehistory, and we've been uncovering a wide range of evidence showing how Stone Age populations not only survived, but thrived in these semi-arid landscapes, said Jim Bob Blinkhorn from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. We know how important rivers can be to living in this region, but we have little detail on what river systems were like during key periods of prehistory, Blinkhorn said. Studies of satellite imagery have shown a dense network of river channels crossing the Thar Desert, according to the researchers. These studies can indicate where rivers and streams have flowed in the past, but they can't tell us when, explained Professor Hima Akuthan of Anna University. To demonstrate how old such channels are, we had to find evidence on the ground for river activity in the middle of the desert, Akuthan said. The team studied a deep deposit of river sands and gravels, which had been exposed by quarrying activity near the village of Nal. The researchers were able to document different phases of river activity by studying the different deposits. We immediately saw evidence for a substantial and very active river system from the bottom of the fluvial deposits, which gradually decreased in power through time, Ashutan said. The researchers used a method called luminescence, dating to understand when quartz grains in the river sands were buried. The results indicated that the strongest river activity at Nal occurred approximately 172 and 140,000 years ago, at a time when the monsoon was much weaker than today in the region. River activity continued at the site between 95 to 78,000 years ago, after which only limited evidence for the presence of a river at the site, with evidence for a brief reactivation of the channel 26,000 years ago, the study found. The river was flowing at its strongest during a phase of weak monsoonal activity in the region and may have been a lifeline to human populations, enabling them to inhabit the Thar Desert, the researchers said. The time frame over which this river was active also overlaps with significant changes in human behavior in the region, which have been linked with the earliest expansions of Homo sapiens from Africa into India, they said. This river flowed at a critical time frame for understanding human evolution in the Thar Desert, across South Asia and beyond, said Blinkhorn. This suggests a landscape in which the earliest members of our own species, Homo sapiens, first encountered the monsoons and crossed the Thar Desert may have been very different to the landscape we can see today, he added. Thank you for listening to our podcast. 
we have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.